In this topic, we're going to discuss some of the big data scenarios that are possible with Azure. So we'll talk about two primary services that we have in Azure that we're going to use to target these big data workloads. The first would be our implementation of Hadoop with HD Insight, and the second will be Azure Batch um, that we've alluded to in some of our other sessions. So on the HD Insight side of things, um, essentially what we've done there is wrapped Hadoop and created this service called HD Insight that allows us to abstract away uh, you implementing that infrastructure and, being, and having to roll out that infrastructure that you typically had to in the past. Uh, this is a big data scenario, so we're talking about big compute, meaning we need a lot of machines, a lot of CPU, and parallel workloads. So these are the big uh, drivers for why we would want to use something like HD Insight. We need to be able to take advantage of these, and typically these are peaky workloads. We're not going to run this 24-7 for an entire month. We're going to run this at certain times that we need to. So we'll spin this cluster up when we need it and have it collapse down when we don't need it. And that way we're saving costs and still taking advantage of all the CPU power that we can get from the cloud. So with HD Insight, if we took a look at what that's actually about, HD Insight is really about, okay, if we had a lot of unstructured data out here, so let's say we have a lot of, the conical example is log files. So typically enterprises are saying we have log files from thousands or tens of thousands of machines, and we need to analyze these things. We need to be able to reduce uh, these down to something that we can manage. Uh, we, we have 10,000 servers. We probably have millions of logs here. How do we make any sense out of this stuff? And really what HD Insight is about is about building this box here in Azure. And we can define how, how big we want this cluster to be. Obviously, we can define the nodes. But really, it's about how do we funnel this unstructured data into HD Insight. And we run what's called a MapReduce is the primary workload for this. Now, MapReduce is a, is a term. It's not specific to Azure. But really, what it's about is saying, if I could peer into this data, into this file here, what I want to do is, first off, I need to like sort this and figure out uh, how I can parse this data. So it's all about parsing and saying, how can I start to understand how I can sort this data? Is it by date? Is it by a name? Is it by some other metric that I have inside of there? And that's the mapping part of MapReduce. And then once we have mapped it, then we go through what's called a reduce operation, hence the name MapReduce. But reduce is all about summarization. So it says, OK, take the stuff that I've sorted up here, and now let's summarize it. And so that's where we would have, you know, and to really dumb it down to say if we're talking about Excel when we're doing summing functions and things like that where we're reducing data down, it's doing primarily the same thing except on a massive scale. So what we're doing though, it's not just as simple as saying, okay, let's go and iterate through each one of these files and do this map reduce. It's about can we take each one of these and do them simultaneously? So we're running this exact uh, map reduce project many, many times in here simultaneously. And what we're going to get out the other side from this MapReduce is actually a summarized data set. Now, we have other tools in Azure to be able to like, orchestrate this kind of thing. So if you looked at the Azure Data Factory, uh, this is one of the primary mechanisms for us to orchestrate HD Insight. Obviously, we can come in here and build the cluster and take our data files, put them in Azure Blob Storage. But you know, if we have an orchestration engine on top of that, like Data Factory, we can actually kind of automate that whole process. Um, so great tool and great way that we can integrate some of our services up there. Now, if we took a look at um, Batch, Batch works slightly different. So in Batch, it's really about, OK, so we set up what's called a Batch namespace up here in Azure. So we'll build a Batch service. And once we build our Batch service, we're basically going to inject two things into that. We're going to bring in an e exe, or a script. And that's primarily what, what is our execution that we need to run here. And then we're going to bring in data. Now, this looks a little bit different from the HD Insight, right? because we had all these data files. We can still have multiple data files out here or one big file. The interesting thing is we can specify, uh, when we go ahead and define our service up here, how we're going to slice this. So we set up these slices to say, like, how are we going to cut this data up? Because really, what we want to do is we're going to build a pool out here of VMs. And we'll define this pool, how big we want the pool to be. Let's say we have four machines in there. It's a pretty small pool, but that's OK. So we have these, this pool set up over here. And what we can do then is take the single executable and take this data and tell it how to slice the data. And what batch will do, the magic of batch, is to say, go use this pool as optimal as we can. So he's going to take this executable and replicate it four times up here. So once he replicates that up, he's going to go ahead and slice the data and, again, shove that up in here four times. 
So now we can take that workload that wasn't parallel before. We just had a single executable and a big data file. And now we've been able to parallelize it and we didn't have to write any parallel code. So that's kind of the magic of how to leverage Azure Batch. It's really uh, a quick on-ramp for how you can do big data in the cloud and take advantage of existing algorithms. The, the use case I've seen for this with customers is we have Python scripts or something of that nature where they already have the, the logic down for how this thing works. They don't want to have to recode that and make it parallel and go through all this work to do that. But can I just take this thing and have some service parallelize it for me? And that's really the intention of what Batch is for. And so with that, that wraps the topic on big data scenarios in Azure.